Okay, everyone, I think I made up my mind. I think today is the day. Today is the day to head to Ajo. It's a little bit cooler there, but it's not much. Just gotta get some fuel before I go. Propane is now 3.39 a gallon. It hasn't gone up. When I first got here, it was 2.79, so it's steadily gone up, but it's not wicked crazy yet. So that was probably the last time I'm ever gonna see that guy. Nice guy. Man, I, I, it's it's so bittersweet, you know, because I'm happy to leave, but I don't want to. I want to get home, but I don't want to leave. So this is Third Street. This will take me by the tennis court that I go to every day. This Alkosh Market Liquor, Beer and Wine. This is where I fill up my water. Oh no. The water guy's there putting water in. Alright, here is Avenue B. This is the 45 mile an hour speed limit. Avenue B. This is the one, if I head the other way, that takes me to the Walmart I always go to. I'm going to have a crosswind today. It's coming almost straight out of the north, so I'll have to go all the way to Gila Bend with the wind from my left to right. Not a big deal. But then once I get to Gila Bend, I'll have the wind straight at my tail all the way down to Ajo, which is probably only 60 miles away from Gila Bend. And it is about 5 or 6 degrees cooler there pretty much every day, so... Ah, this is the beginning of my journey, guys. This is the last day I might ever be here. What triggered this early leave is all the talk of gas prices possibly hitting $300 a barrel. If gas prices get up to $7 a gallon or something like that, oh my goodness, that'll just be over the top too much. So I have to do something. I have to pull the trigger. I have to make a move. I have to start moving. I hope you're all doing well. But we're gonna have to buckle down guys we're gonna all have to kind of help each other out through this because bad times are coming let me show you this it's pretty neat that's the water that flows out of the pond up there that's fed by a well it keeps it fresh so it doesn't just get full of duck and goose poop so yeah i think i really do need to get that some some more solar ordered the batteries in my RV are about six years old, almost six years old. I'm just trying to think of anything I might need in the future to buy and buy it now because I know everything's going to get really expensive. I'm going to try and develop relationships with people, good solid relationships, try and find meaningful things to do, ways to help other people without letting them walk on me, you know. Brand spanking new. Throttle, brakes, it says it's locked. Yeah, brand new. If I had the bird app, I'd maybe go for it. Oh, look at this. We already had a dirty, filthy bird land on this one. Say goodbye to the pond. I don't think I'm gonna go to Walmart. I think I have pretty much everything I need. I could slip on over to the Marketplace Walmart, but they don't have the um, sugar-free orange soda that I drink, so. <sighs> Thrift store and then out to the RV, put the solar panels down, hit the road. Well guys, this is it. This is the uh, last day at Pilot Knob, so it's pretty sad. Just said goodbye to my neighbors, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's time to move on, right, Kip? All right, that's it, guys. I'm on the road. Here's the Los Algodones exit right here. Got the speedo set at 50 miles an hour. 
got a full tank of gas, oil pressure, coolant, electric, all looks good. Kip check, he isn't having any problems at all. I'm surprised, normally he would be having some issues to start with, but... <laughs> You're doing good, Kip! spot open. <laughs> Alright, so we made it. We got the good campsite and all. I can't believe it. There's the big wall of rocks. We made it. And I couldn't believe it, but the gas here was cheaper than the gas in Gila Bend, so I would have been way better off just completely filling up here. You'll notice how much quieter it is here than Pilot Knob. Oh, it's going to be nice. I got the Hummingbird feeder up in the tree. I don't know if I'm going to put the other one up or not. We'll see how this one goes. It's lots of beautiful hills around here. It's a lot more green than Yuma. Yuma is legit dry as a bone desert. I see the baby saguaro still here. It's about the same size it was last year too. That thing just isn't growing. Kip really likes it here. Oh, he's looking up at that tree. He wants to climb trees. Here's the fire pit. We've had many fires at this fire pit because out here there is no free garbage. So that means I gotta burn what I can and the cans, the metal cans and the pop cans and stuff I'll have to bring to town and get rid of here and there with Walmart bags at the gas station and stuff. I do have neighbors. I have one lady who's living in her van right over there, just a regular minivan. You know, whatever you do, what you got to do. I, I love my van. A minivan might be a little too small for me, but I would do it. I love, I love living on the road so much, you guys. I would still do it. Because last year we stayed at another campsite, and I did go check it out already. And uh, the fire pit that my daughter Maddie made right next to where she put up her tent. It's still there. It's down this way a little bit. I'll probably take you to see it some other time, but I don't want to go down there tonight. That lady in the van might get a little worried or something, so I don't want to bother her. I have my generator out just because I had to move the, my e-bike back in there. I'm going to put the generator back in there. I'm a little bit annoyed with that generator because it looks like it's leaking oil for some reason now. Nothing huge, but there is there is oil leaking out. There's a truck coming down the road. Are you going to get scared? Here he comes. Oh, it's the Ranger. Nice. Well, he's got me down. Tonight's my first night, so... 14 days. We got to be out of here, Kip. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Remember, everybody, we do have to stick together through thick and thin on this stuff. The rich people, the ultra-rich, the corporations, they're killing us, okay? It's just, it's us plebs. We got to stick together. So if you know anybody who's in any need and there's something you can do to help them, help them out. That's what I'm going to do when I get back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and help out as many people as I can. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.